Hi, my name is Benjamin, also known as Helgo Boss in the Reaper forums. As some of you may know, I work on Playtime 2 these days. And I'm really excited to show you the first outcome of this work. Playtime's brand new clip engine. Alright, let's get started. For those of you who don't know Playtime, it is a plug-in for the DAW Reaper that is inspired by the session view of Ableton Live. Its mission is to bring intuitive, non-linear, loop-based music production to Reaper. Playtime 2 is written completely from scratch. It doesn't really have much in common with Playtime 1. And as you might have guessed by now, Playtime 2 is not yet finished. The good news, however, is that you can try an early alpha version of its clip engine. But what is this mysterious engine that I keep talking about? Well, Playtime 2 will come in two parts. The first part is, surprise, the clip engine, which can be considered as the heart of Playtime 2. It contains all the magic that makes it possible to record and play MIDI and audio clips in Reaper. The second part is the so-called Playtime app. This app is basically a fancy graphical user interface for controlling the clip engine. It's the actual session view, you know, the part of the software where you see the clip matrix on the screen, can click buttons, do drag and drop and so on. It will still take a few months until the Playtime app is ready. Therefore, in this video, we are going to concentrate on the clip engine only. Now the really cool thing about this engine is that it's freely available and that one can use it independently of the app. In other words, it's a sort of headless playtime. So how does it work? How is it possible to use the engine without the playtime app? All you need for that is the Reaper project file of my clip engine demonstration project and the latest pre-release of ReLearn, another Reaper plugin of mine. One that's technologically far more advanced and refined than Playtime 1. That's right, the clip engine is built into ReLearn itself. ReLearn is a good match for it because it's a plug-in for performers. And Playtime is a lot about performing as well. Also, it means that the engine is part of an already mature plug-in and it comes with very customizable hardware integration. You will find a link to the ReLearn website and the introduction video in the description below. But enough talking, see for yourself what ReLearn and the Clip Engine can do today. Okay. This is the Reaper project that I use for demonstrating the Clip Engine. Let's see what we have here. The first track is the most special track in this project. It contains a bunch of relearn instances. There's one instance for each controller. This is the main instance, and in our case the only one that has a clip engine enabled. It's connected to this cute little grid controller here. Important, you need at least this version of relearn. 2.13.0 pre 4. The remaining relearn instances are connected to different hardware controllers, but they all control the clip engine of the first instance. This was demonstrated in the opening sequence of this video. I have them disabled at the moment because one controller is enough for now. The rest of the project is not too special. We have a folder track which contains a bunch of column tracks. I call them column tracks because each of them is mapped to a column of the clip matrix. They mainly contain instrument plugins. Okay, the first column is still a bit special after all. It controls the clip matrix itself. Cool feature. Then we have a drum sampler, battery 4, a synth, 
Zebra, Amaremba, Piano Tech, an Athersynth, Zebra, an external synth, we don't hear anything because I don't have it connected at the moment, a lead synth, Zebra, and a bass synth, also Zebra. And finally some sand destination tracks containing a reverb and a delay effect. By the way, if you are interested in trying this yourself, let me know in the YouTube comment section, on Twitter or in the Reaper forum thread. I can send you a copy of this project, it just needs a few modifications because it uses virtual instrument plugins that you maybe don't have installed. Now we are going to have a closer look, feature by feature. Let's start with the absolute basics, launching a clip. This is a MIDI clip. By default it starts playing on the next bar. Now let's add a few others. This is a MIDI clip as well. And this is an audio clip. By the way, because we are in Reaper land, it doesn't matter if a clip is audio or MIDI. You can have both in one column. I have set up relearn in a way so that pressing the button again stops the clip. If you know Playtime 1, you will be wondering about two things. First, no items are appearing on the timeline. Second, the project is not even playing. That's one of the main changes of Playtime 2. It doesn't place items on the timeline and let Reaper play them. Instead, it implements the playback logic itself. Playtime 2 doesn't mess with your arrangement, so you can make changes to it without affecting playback. A nice side effect is that one can record the whole performance as multi-track audio recording by recording the track output. Now let's try launching a complete scene. And changing it. The engine supports different modes for a column. By default, only one clip in a column plays at a time. But you can also configure a column to allow multiple clips playing at the same time. I have done that with a drum column. This is a nice alternative to overdubbing an existing clip and it allows you to add and remove layers. You can also decide whether a column follows scene changes or not. This one follows. As I've mentioned earlier, Clips start playing on the next bar by default. But Playtime 2 supports arbitrary quantizations. I have temporarily switched start and stop timing to quarter note quantization. Let's turn on the metronome to see what's going on. With such a short quantization, we obviously have to be a bit more precise pressing the buttons. What makes more sense to me actually is switching off quantization completely and just play the clip engine like an instrument. That makes it essentially a kind of multi-track sampler and sequencer.
This can get quickly out of hand though. You can't say I didn't warn you. Now let's record something new for a change. As you can imagine, it's sometimes a bit hard remembering to stop the recording in time while playing difficult stuff on your instrument. That's why the engine supports predefining the length of the recording. Let's do that. Because we don't have the Playtime app yet, I use an alternative way of programming the clip engine. Relearn can export and import the complete clip matrix settings and contents as Lua code. I will just modify those settings by hand. That's much better. Let's try something else. Usually, clip recording starts on the start of a bar. That can lead to results like this. Our first two notes are simply ignored. Can we do better? Yes, with a Playtime Clip Engine we can. With a pickup beat or downbeat detection enabled, our first notes will end up in the recording, perfectly on time. What's still a bit annoying is that these two notes will be played in the end as well. That's simply because the clip stop timing is quantized to the next bar. We can do better by choosing to play under the end of the clip, which doesn't include the pickup beat notes. Now that's perfect. What else? Let's look at synchronization with the Reaper project timeline. Let's say you already have some items on the timeline and you want to jam along with them. Luckily, the clip engine takes care to synchronize playback with the transport actions and the timeline. It also memorizes which clips have been playing the last time stop was pressed. It reacts to play cursor changes as well. And to tempo changes. Instant tempo adjustment doesn't just work with MIDI clips, but also audio clips. Either using very speed, which means it changes the pitch as well. This is the most CPU friendly method, because it just uses Reaper's resampling algorithms under the hood. But most of the time you probably want real time stretching, which keeps the pitch intact. For this, you can use any pitch shift algorithm available in Reaper. There's one last feature I want to show you today. I call it Meta Clips. We have seen already that one can play the clip matrix itself. 
We can also record that. That's a quite unique and powerful alternative to, let's say, scenes or follow actions. The clip engine has a ton of features. There's no way I can show them all in this video. For the complete list of features, have a look into the video description below. There should be a link. Now what? Most users are probably better off waiting a few months more until the Playtime app comes out. The Clip Engine is a kind of gift to users who love to deep dive into software and generally have a do-it-yourself spirit. If you are not that kind of person or just not in the mood right now, then wait for the Playtime app, which will not be free, but make it much easier and intuitive to use the engine. If you are a do-it-yourself person, if you don't need a fancy user interface and don't mind writing Lua code to change the settings of my demonstration project, then this is for you. The engine is open source. It runs on Linux, I think even a Raspberry Pi. It has Lua export and import. There's the relearn integration, which lets you add support for new controllers or customize the integration of existing controllers in a completely declarative way. Always keep in mind though, that this is an early alpha release. It's definitely not production ready, especially not for live usage. One last thing. Don't be fooled by the fact that Relearn and the Playtime Clip Engine are free and open source. Relearn is a completely unique and very elaborate product, a result of multiple years of development time. The Playtime Clip Engine is comparatively young, but carefully designed from the ground up to match commercial grade engines and even surpass them in terms of possibilities and openness. Obviously it's not there yet because this is an alpha release and it still needs a lot of bug fixing and hardening. But eventually it will get there. It already has loads of features that you don't find in other doors. Downbeat detection, meta clips, support for multiple matrices, mixed audio MIDI columns, Columns which play multiple clips at once, support for multi-channel audio, and so on. I made both products open source and available for free, not because they are lower quality, but because I believe that having the source code available for anyone to see or improve is a wonderful feature on its own. As you can probably imagine, creating Relearn and the Clip Engine is a tremendous effort. If you like these projects and you want them to flourish, the best thing you can do is to send a donation. The easiest way to do that is to use the PayPal button on the Relearn website. Thanks a lot for watching and I hope you will enjoy Playtime's new clip engine.